Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the regulation of the respiratory system. So how the system of respiration is being regulated in our body. So the demands of the body tissues increases or decreases, it actually regulates the rate of respiration in our body. So when it's the demand for oxygen is more, then the inspiration rate increases. So based on the demands of the body, the respiratory rates also regulates. Now this regulation is actually controlled wholly by the neural system of our body. So the neural system actually controls all these regulation of the respiratory system. Oxygen have do not have actually significant roles, they do not play significant roles in the regulation of this respiratory system. Now let us take a look on the various respiratory centers which actually control the respiration rate or modify, moderate the respiration rate. The first center is known as the medulla. This is known as medulla oblongata. This is a part of the central nervous system of our brain. This actually acts as the rhythm center. It regulates the respiratory system. The next part is known as the pneumotaxic center. This is basically located at the pons region of the brain. So this pneumotaxic center, it actually generates signals this signals actually increases the reduces the inspiration rate of the respiration so if the inspiration rate is reduced it will overall reduce the rate of respiration also so this is the next center which is known as the pneumotaxic center of the brain which actually controls the respiration rate the third area is known as the chemosensitive region so this chemosensitive region it is basically present adjacent to the rhythmic center and this is very highly sensitive to the carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentrations. Now, if the excess of carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion is present in the body and near the brain, it actually senses this excess presence of carbon dioxide and hydrogen ions and this actually activates the center to make necessary adjustments in order to control the excess carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentrations. Basically, it tries to reduce these concentrations of these molecules like carbon dioxide and hydrogen ions. Next one is the receptors. There are certain receptors which are associated with the aortic arc and the rhythmic centers, right? So these receptors, they can sense the increase and decrease of carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentrations and in turn, it signals the rhythmic center to perform necessary adjustments. We have already discussed that carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentrations Partial pressure of carbon dioxide, partial pressure of oxygen, hydrogen ion concentration, these are very important factors in deciding, in determining the formation of oxyhemoglobin and carbaminohemoglobin. So these are the very important ions which actually uh, determines how the carbon dioxide and oxygen will be transported in our body. So receptors, they sense the decrease and increase in these type of ions and hence it actually allows the rhythmic center to do necessary adjustments. So in this video, we have talked about the regulation of respiration, how respiration rates are being regulated and we have also talked about some of the important centers in our brain and receptors which actually help in the respiration rate regulations. So I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.